Hello and welcome back to Upfront with Millie and Keely. It's been a big week. Keels, how are you going? I'm great. It hasn't been that big really. Well, Just same on you me. know what was cool? The other day after our game at Allianz, I reckon two people asked us about the podcast. Someone listens to it. They were so nice. I know. Yes. Yeah. No, That's it's really very cool. nice. Thanks to the people that listen to it, especially the Roosters fans. We love that. We love yous. Yeah. Also, I told my dad what a podcast was. <laughs> he, um, he said he's going to start listening. So we'll see how see how that goes. See if he gets through. Do your parents it's... listen to podcasts? I uh, don't think so. Do they no, know Mum and Dad are? probably listen to ours. Do they? Yeah, they, no, I reckon she would. My mum especially. Nice. She says she doesn't, but I bet she, she does. Nice. All right. Well, I wanted to kick today off with um, I'm just grateful that I'm here, to be honest, because I got a lift with you here from just over the road, like literally from training. We went and got a South Dallin singer because we always do that. Like, seriously, I said, Keely, we can't go down this way. It's a no-through road. You're like, we'll be sweet. Like, I reckon I can get through here like she's a Sydney local. Fully a absolute no-through road. Nowhere to do it. You know where to turn around. Ten-point turn, still can't turn around. Reverses out. You have to go, like, 50 metres back to reverse. Nearly hits a tree. But did I? <laughs> but did I hit a tree? <laughs> and but did we get here? <laughs> Maybe if you had one of the Hyundais that have all of the nice, uh, you know, technology and auto drive system, maybe that would actually help you. Really? I think it would. I've got a Hyundai and I'm a good driver. You? Okay, so what actually do you not like about my driving? Because I've had, you know, you haven't been the first person who said that, (laughs) surprisingly. Who else has said it? Well, Jake Kelly. (laughs) <laughs> is his husband got in the car I was driving them to um back to our hotel <laughs> he did not like can my I driving say, can I say I feel like sometimes you're a bit too like cash when you're driving but then like <laughs> can I just say one thing <laughs> yep it's almost like excel stop <laughs> Excel stop. <laughs> Don't. Do you know how many people have told me that? Okay, so Cooper, my partner, <laughs> does not let me drive anywhere because he gets nauseous because I accelerate <laughs> and brake too hard. He genuinely gets car sick only from when I drive. And then Callie got in the car <laughs> and said the same thing. I've actually never said it to you because I don't want to hurt your feelings. That is probably the fourth time. And then people definitely say I'm too casual. Yeah. Anyway. Well, anyway, you can drive next time. (laughs) 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 Give me some. Who's who usually sits on that microphone, Charlie? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, he's gonna get a loogie in his mouth. (laughs) He likes likes eating boogers anyway. (laughs) 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 He always talks. I always bring that up because it actually makes me feel physically ill that he said that. I've actually been sick lately and I've been like on the field, I have to snot a lot like, you know. Yes, my parents were watching the game back (laughs) and they said they saw you snot into your hand and then high five Kylie Hilda. (laughs) It was on Fox. not been intentional. (laughs) Yeah, but that is still hilarious. What I do is like I go, like I can't do it. I've got a block, I've got a permanent block nose from when I broke my nose. So I just, nothing processes through there. Well, apparently you did this. Five. No, I, nothing would have come out if I half drived it because I always go down to the ground. Mm. But there has been a couple caught where I'm like, you can fully see it. It's disgusting. It is pretty gross, but go oh. do what you got to do. You don't want to keep that in there. No, you don't. Speaking of broken noses, oh, oh, Ali Brigginshaw's nose. Have you seen the photo? You've seen it, have you? The one yeah. that Kate put up. Kate put up. Okay. Oh, Millie. That Nelly. is Avatar like, and that just looks <laughs> painful. The eyes feel like they're closed over, conjunct like it feels like conjunctivitis, surely and swelling, and the nose. You know what? At least the nose is straight. That is a great thing. Her nose is it's still not like she's had any straight stitches like in it, and it's bent or anything. So that's yep. a plus for but Ali. But surely she'll be out this weekend. You know what? I don't reckon she will be. What will happen? She, you can't possibly play like that. Just defend on the wing? Like, nah, she, I honestly reckon Ali Rigginshaw has not missed a game. If she is cleared from the HIA, I reckon she's playing. 
and they are Broncos are a must win for the rest of their games to make the top they four. Are. And they she's been setting up tries and scoring a try a week. They need her in the team. Yeah, oh, and absolutely. she would put the team first before her face and her nose. And even if she can't see out of those eyes, but even like running the pressure. Yeah, but you know what? Can you do that? What, what? She's tough. She's tough. Yeah, but it's like you can be tough, but like if you actually genuinely have so much pressure, you can't see and play. Ooh. Like, I mean, look. She said, I did message her, I said, I hope, like, that looks terrible. I remember when I did mine and honestly, I just felt so shit. I was like, I had a, I had a baby shower the next day as well, my sister-in-law's baby shower. I wore the biggest hat and, like, <laughs> sunnies. Like, I just, it was, I looked ugly. Like, it was hideous. It was actually wild yours. And anyway, but she said she's um, feeling all right because she hasn't actually bent it out of place, yeah, I think. Yeah, far out. Just is inflamed. How, how painful is it? I've never, t- obviously, never heard that little nose of yours. Little. <laughs> I'm surprised it hasn't been. Yet. No, I'm honestly, touch wood, I break it. <laughs> I want to get a little nose job. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Little tuck. It's not worth it because I, I had a um, reconstruction when um, I did mine. You can't tell though, <laughs> just to bend it back in place. But. Um, they say you can't actually get it done properly until like the rhinoplast like yeah. to make it actually look yeah. good, you know, yeah. until after footy because if you do it again, like you're screwed. Mm. So you had, you'd have to be waiting a while and you want to play at the age of 40 at this rate. So maybe hold off a little bit yeah. on that. Yeah. Anyway. Well, touch wood, I don't break it then. Touch wood into that. Um, moving on, you've just moved into finally – Cooper's been working like a dog, 20 hours a day. You finally moved in, ish? Somewhat. So <laughs> you're sleeping on the ground, you don't have a fridge. I'm actually, so my mum and dad live next door. Yeah. So I'm actually staying in their house okay. at the moment. Yeah. Um, Cooper's away for work for the week. So we also don't have a fridge yet. Yeah, that sucks. So we're nearly there, very close, closer than we were a week ago. So can't wait to be in though. It's been a very, very long time. We're meant to be moving in around Easter. And I feel like it happens with every build. It's just one more thing, mm. one more thing. Especially but. when, like, Cooper's a builder. So yeah. when it's your own place, like, not that there's procrastination, it's just, like, you want to do it perfect and, yeah. and you're like, oh, it is. can wait, like, and you want to save as much money as you can. So Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. 100%. So I feel like uh, I'm actually, I mean, in Iron Weather just to leave it till after the season now. Really? Yeah, because I'm like, then I can move in properly. Like, yesterday I stayed there. And then just slept next door mm. and I stayed there. We didn't even have a fridge. So it was just yeah. like, we'll just get it. Move in when you get the fridge. Yeah. And I didn't have a plate had to we'll eat off the chopping some, board. What are you doing? Like, go get this stuff. Yeah. It's very, <laughs> I'm very busy at the moment. Anyway. Anyway, first anyway. world problems. But yes. no, I can't wait to be finally in. Yeah. That's exciting. You know what else has been happening? What? Your wedding is like. I Not even six weeks no. away. Someone said to me, oh, I'm so excited for your wedding. It's in like five weeks. And I've gone, what? You're the most casual bride ever. I know. Can I tell you something? What? I haven't even booked hair and makeup yet. No. I haven't. Do you know who's going to do it? No. Millie. <laughs> Millie. <laughs> I haven't got wedding shoes. That's okay. I haven't got a cake. No do you cake? need a cake? I would like a cake there. <laughs> okay, I'll get a cake for Cheeky. Um, red velvet? What, what is <laughs> red velvet? Are you kidding me? What, what are you thinking? Well, something like classy like bloody vanilla butter cake, yeah. <laughs> buttercream, whatever that is. I don't even know. I think most things are done, but little like things like that. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know what? I love it though because I just feel like you are so casual. It's just yeah. you're not stressed about it. Really, you're really not. not. I'm excited awesome. for it but actually Adam and I got on the laptop last night, started to do some invites. Ooh. So <laughs> only five weeks away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, how do you do invites? What is it? Well, luckily my <laughs> my friends Imogen oh, yes. and Jacob Saifidi, they're getting married um, a couple of weeks after us um, and so she sent out hers and I'm just copying it. I was like, oh, what website is this? How does she lay it out? Like oh, literally copy it. So thanks, Imo. <laughs> Appreciate it. 
Oh, it makes it easy for you. Definitely. Um, are you going to take his last name? Um, no, he's actually taking that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I am, yes, taking Elliot. Um, we actually sit in like any time I'm, I'm – I have seen this actually. <laughs> <laughs> any time we're in – review or like just waiting for something not obviously doing review but you know I've got a notebook I literally practice my new signature Millie Elliott you got it yet yeah nailed it yep nailed it looks good um yep definitely taking the last name Boyle you've been good to me but now you're dead to me and get gone yeah this is so this will be last season as last Boyle. season as Millie Boyle that is wild yep Millie do Elliot. you reckon you'll take Cooper's name yeah, it's a cool last name. Is a really cool. I was thinking hyphen. <laughs> Keely Davis Nizzer. Yeah, but then I was thinking about it. I like Davis as a first name. <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking about your name the other day. What? What are you thinking about my name? Davis is like David. My dad's name's David and that's pretty much your last name. <laughs> that isn't slightly funny. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, oh, I think delusional. I think Davis Nizar. Like what a cute Davis boy. is not a first name. Well, you can you may make, as well call your kid David. Well, I like Davis, and <laughs> I'm very traditional. So I've said many times I want to call. So right. my mum and dad broke generational tradition, and I'm I'm mad at them about it. So my dad is an eighth generation Ronald. <laughs> And my mum didn't name my oldest brother Ronald. She called him Kurt. So I'm bringing back the tradition. But I don't like the name Ron, so I'm thinking of a girl's name. There was a few suggestions. Veronica, Bronwyn. <laughs> what was the one the other day? What was the one the other day? And it was so bad. I can't remember. Like, what was it? I could make that into Ronnie. I think it was Bronwyn. No, it was Because I like Bronwyn else. for a little Ronnie. No. And then Veronica, Ronnie. Anyway, do you think you'll do that? What? Call your kid Ronald or Davis or something. Yeah. Ronald Davis. Nizza. Yeah, I just like traditional or Cooper's Cooper's family's name. His dad, they're Italian, so his dad's name is Bernardo Raffaele Lorenzo Nizza. Jesus. So maybe one of those little like Bernie, yeah. you know? Yeah. Something. Have you got have you got a list of names? For babies, yes, um, we do actually have a little list of names. I mean, I've we I've, do. I feel like I've had a list of names since I was probably in high school. Yeah, you know, I feel like, like a lot of girls. And do. then they change. And do guys have that? No, that's why I was surprised when you said we do. Like Charlie, I have one, but it's not with Cooper. Like, Charlie, do you have a list of names that you like? No, no? you don't think. Oh, that's a cute little name for a little girl. When I have one, no. <laughs> you know what I think as well. Not that anybody's asked, but I feel very strongly about this yeah. because I have my firstborn's name picked. Cooper hates it. But I'm like, <laughs> Cooper hates it. That's what, that you've got to both agree no, on No, you it. don't. I'm pushing out that thing. <laughs> I 100% get to choose the name. And he says no at the moment, but I bet you as soon as, as he soon sees as the, the little yeah, bubba. And he sees what you've been through. And he sees what I've been through, been through he will change his mind. Davis. <laughs> and that little baby boy Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I might yeah. have a Davis Davis because Cooper won't propose. <laughs> 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 but jumping ahead a fair bit here. Yeah, no, look, Adam and I have two names that we really like for the future, for a boy a boy and a girl's name. But don't don't tell them. I won't say them, but they're they're classic. Well, anyway, that anyway, was a good yeah. chat, but probably should get on to the footy now, huh? On hey? to the footy now, yes. What's a weird uh, weekend of footy? Of footy? Why Why so? Well, a lot of big scores. Big scores. And you know what? This is probably – we probably expected this to happen now that the depth is getting challenged, people are getting injured. Um, it, it's really – like there's so many injuries. There's a lot of injuries. Is usual with rugby league, but it's really hard because – where do you get these girls from? A lot of teams are picking up from their development squad, yeah. like development players, but they're not playing week in, week out footy. No. Well, you think about those – we spoke about this earlier. The development players haven't played footy since April, if that. Yeah. If that. March. Insane. So, like, they haven't played before since before Origin. There's been no girls' footy on since before State of Origin. So that's crazy. Like, yeah. Like, no – People just aren't up to scratch. Yeah, and then they come into teams that have been 
playing with pretty much predominantly the same whole squad. Yeah. It's just there's always going to be these big scores and that was yeah. the whole thing about expanding to ten teams. Mm. Felt like this was going to happen. Um Anyway, there was some tight games. Obviously, Eels got their first win. Yes, good to see. Close game. Rachel Pearson was massive for them once she, again. Huge. She so had, she's playing so good. Yeah. She's doing so well. I'll tell you what she's great <laughs> at. Sorry. Yep. Tell you what she's great at. She's so good. I've noticed this a lot, um, being that second option when they get a little kick in behind. Yeah. She did with us at Dragon. She was so good at cleaning up the ball. Mm. Like she's just always moving. Yeah. Just a little... Little work Good to see work she is. Good to see them get their first win. Although I don't think they with one win that pretty much cancels them out. No, they're before. definitely out. They're definitely out. Definitely yeah. out. Um the next game, another golden point game. I Lozzie know. Brown. Lozzie with the second field goal this year. So good. So good. She obviously works hard on those practices. Yeah, and it was like from like thirty out or something. Yeah. It it's was a, a decent kick. Like, decent kick. Very good. 22-23. Very close game. Um, Dragons have had some very close games this year. They have. I think all of their games, like all majority have been yeah. very close. That's the second one they've lost by field goal. Then they won one last minute last week, yeah. two weeks ago. So close games. Very close. Um, then it was our game. Yep, we played Tigers. They were unlucky at the start. Kez went down. She's been so solid for them. Yeah, um, and obviously the captain. So yeah. I feel like. When your captain's gone, it's obviously a huge, huge loss. So yeah, spoke to Kez this morning though. She's doing really well. In good spirits. Yeah. Which is the main thing. Yeah. And they had so, a, a debutante Testanes play because their half couldn't play. Yes. So there was a lot of changing around in their team. but Heaps. Um, we had a good win there. Yeah. Um, very happy with how we're going. Eight to ten. So that was that was a good one. Building week on week. Yeah. Um, Bronx Raiders. Bronx Raiders. Can you believe? 40 to 8. It was 8 nil at, at a time. Like wow. that's um that almost sounds like our starts yeah. sometimes. I feel like we, 8 nil. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I was I was watching this game and at half time I thought Broncos would come away with it. They were just looking yeah. like they're really starting to put it together now and mm. they're yeah, gelling as a team. So yeah. wasn't surprised that they put on a pretty big score, but I would say that was more than what I expected. Yeah. 40 to 8, usually Raiders are pretty gritty and mm. don't don't let that many tries in. Well, they've had three debutants as well play as well, like that game. Yes. Like, that's a lot even for a new club as it is. And I tell you who's absolutely like an unsung person for them. Hero. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no. Nah. God, now I've got to say that that's awkward if I don't say she's a hero. Okay. Now, what's the saying? What's another saying? Uh, a star, like yeah, somebody a star who's behind a very, the clouds very good coming out yeah. on a sunny day. Sure, um, <laughs> Appy, <laughs> yeah, and she was missing, so yeah. she's huge for them, especially with their timing at the back. I thought she did a heaps good job, but you can have two great players in a team. Yeah, yeah. help. Appy so. has been one of their best players this year. Most consistent, so good under a high ball, great at returning, and gets in the line and makes some good um, attacking plays as well. And I tell so. you what, she's so good at. Actually annoys me. She will make the tackle yeah. so often at yeah, the back. I know. She is so good with her tackle. covered cover yeah. tackling. Her defence, very, very good. If if you pass the ball, she will still whack you. Like she will always take ball. Mm. She's very good. Very good. Very Solid. good player. And last game of the round, it was Knights Sharks. You at, were at this game. I was at this game, yes. Um, at Newcastle. It was actually 16-0 at half time. So Knights had a great start, dominant as usual. Like, yeah, they're, they're a great team. Sharks with a couple of unlucky, you know, calls, I guess, but just they didn't really look in it. They yeah. started to come back but never really – wasn't really enough to, to well, be in it. you know what, Mill? Newcastle always start really, really fast. But that call with Tiana Penitani's mm, obstruction had to be yeah. the worst call I have ever we seen. We did not. No one – we were like, what? We couldn't even see what we were looking at. But that completely, like, that genuinely changes the game. I know. change the game. They, they – yeah. Disallowed try, then Newcastle go up and score at the other end. Score at the other end. I know. Totally changes. So the, that's more like a 20 to 18. Like, that 
sharks were getting back in it. Yeah. They did a really good job to do that. And then it just I know, it went from one end to the end. Yeah. So pretty that's unlucky. A tough loss. And it was like and the bounce Newcastle just had the bounce all day. Like that um try by Shanice Parker right up the end. She was like, <laughs> the ball's still in, puts it down and uh seals it. So yeah, they had a great um win and I mean, look, the crowd coming in for Newcastle, for the, obviously the boys were playing as well um, afterwards and it was another sellout crowd. So had just under 30,000 there for, That's for the boys' How game. So, that? But, it, like, they had um, reserve grade there earlier than the women's and then, and then the boys. So, you know, to see people just come in on a Sunday, beautiful weather, you know, wanting to watch the footy and be there all day is, is pretty special. So... They really get into the footy as well. But how good is it that they have so many home games playing before the boys? That's what I would love to see more of next year. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, we have that one game at Allianz before the boys and I think that's our only one at Allianz, which is a bit disappointing. But with the FIFA World Cup and and whatnot, we weren't able to use the ground until now. Um, but I would love to see more NRLW teams playing before the, their, their men's, men's NRL teams yep. because it's you get you're just digging into the people that are already going to be there. They can come a little bit earlier and and, and watch and yeah, support. Absolutely, I've seen it happen at Newcastle. I don't see why it can't happen anywhere else. Imagine if the girls got to play Tigers girls at Leichhardt. You know what I mean? So sick. Like that would be unreal to so play sick. in front of. Yeah, and definitely now they know what's happening for the next four or five years with the CBA sorted. Yes. I feel like it can be a lot um, more planned. Mm. So hopefully we see that over the next few years. But the comp is slowly narrowing down and the top four is becoming less and less contested. It's still pretty open at the moment with Eels just being the main team that can't Mm. make it. Who would you have in your top four? Look... Charging on form at the moment and how everyone's going, I think it'll be um, Knights, Titans, Bronx and us. Yeah. What do you reckon? I do agree. I think Sharks are probably my other team that could make a sniff. Possibly, depending on if Bronx continue this trajectory and keep going well, they, you know, this weekend will actually decide. Yeah, they've got it this weekend. Bronx Sharks this weekend, and I think both teams have just lacked consistency. Like, Sharks is such a, a great team. They just didn't turn up when they needed to on the weekend, which was disappointing. Well, same with um, Broncos. They've actually had a little bit of change in their spine. Mm. Like, we've been pretty lucky with our spine. We've had the exact same spine yeah. the whole time. Um, so for Sharks, same this will with Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah. So for Sharks, this will be the third week in a row, same spine. Bronx obviously got Gail back this week. Yep. Um, Robbo, who's a huge yeah. addition, like she cannot – the amount of work she gets through just can't be replaced. Yeah. She's the hardest working outside back um, for the Broncos without a doubt. Yep. So she is a huge addition. I reckon Bronx, Sharks, game of the round. Yeah. I reckon it will be. And they're up in Townsville. Oh, that's going to be they, hot. You know what? Townsville again. Townsville again. Poor Broncos do not even play at Suncorp once. That is a GR because of the World Cup. Um, it is what it is. But disappointing they don't even get That's one rough. game at Suncorp. That's right. Um, but both teams, so Broncos and Sharks, when they played against the, the Cowboys up there, had massive wins, 40-plus point wins. Oh. So they can both show – they've both sh- – Proven that they can play in the heat. Yeah. And, you know, it's a, it's a good ground for them. So it'll be an interesting game. It will be interesting. Mm. Who are you I backing? That one? Uh, you know what? I think the Sharks. Yeah. I was really high on them last week. I was yeah. Like, I felt very confident that they're going to get the win. But just think, I feel like Emma is going to have a really big game. Emma mm. Tonegato. Yeah. I'm feeling. I reckon... Emma would be disappointed with her performance from the weekend. You know, she wasn't as busy as she usually is and there can be many factors depending on how the game's going and, and the game plan and, and things like that, whether you're doing more defence, whatever. But I think she she will be out to prove that, you know, that that she is the player that she is and that she um, can come up with some really good players when needed. So 
I think she'll she'll be busy. She's good under pressure and I yeah. feel like this is a pressure yeah, game for them. 100%. So it's not good up. for Bronx that she had a quiet game yeah. there this week because they know she'll, she'll be, be up for it. Yeah. yeah. Her so, against Ali with a broken nose. <laughs> it's definitely broken, is it? I ha- it has to be. Right. Yeah, surely. I I am tipping <sighs> I'm tipping Bronx in Ooh. that game. Yep. So interesting. interesting. Yes. Well, speaking of tipping. Brings us to our favourite thing of the week. The, the week. thing we've done once. My favourite, absolute favourite thing of the week. Alpha Bucks. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm scared already. You should be scared. <laughs> you know what? Last time it was boring, you were very bad. I wasn't great either. I was so bad. My brain just switched off. You did have a massage straight before, so you're a bit airy fairy. That weird massage that I'm not going back to. Yeah, I haven't been back either. Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what I was thinking is I was in the supermarket the other day with Cooper. Mm. Found some pretty weird international food. <laughs> so why don't we make a little bet? Whoever loses has to eat the winner's choice of food. Next podcast to get us started. Look. I'm obviously going to say agree to this and say yes, but I feel like this is your game. I suck at this game. That's not what you said two weeks ago before we were going to play this game. <laughs> yeah. We were discussing it. I realised it. I sucked at that game. Yeah, well, that's Afterwards. Just mindset. <laughs> You're fresh now. You know what? Pressure does weird things to people. You are just setting yourself up to lose right now. I'm not, but if this is anxiety, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you what what are you bringing in for me to eat? Well, I have a few if things. If I lose, I have a few things in the back of my head because I've already picked out something for you, which is why I want to no. play, which is why I'm ready. Okay, you tell me, what are you going to bring? Okay, so Adam's been like, no, no, I know what you're going <laughs> to say. I know what you're going to say. Adam is really into his health and weird stuff, ninety percent oh. of the time. So. At home, he's tried cooking it, he's tried blending it, he's tried freezing it, he's tried sw- like anything you can. We've got some uh, liver, <laughs> fresh b- beef liver, beef and heart at home. I'm going to bring it to you frozen and I'm going to blend it up and you're going to drink it. <laughs> so you're going to bring in beef liver? liver. Beef liver. That's okay. Yes. What are you bringing in? Oh. You haven't tried it, obviously. Spam? That's pretty gross. I know you don't like processed things. <laughs> Are you just doing that because it's not that bad? No, I freaking ha- – I see that shit in the can and I'm like, how long has that been in there for? Yeah, I saw an even worse one. It was like in a cylinder <laughs> like this. Like dog meat. That's in the dog section. Yeah, it was like Devon, but Devon's actually yum. But it was like – I don't even know what – where it was from but it looked disgusting that's actually what I thought of but beef liver seems a lot grosser so I might have to think about it bringing something worse maybe okay I'm trying to find um alpha bucks alpha bucks one better than the one that you picked because that was so bad okay so I've got a list here yep got a list here for alpha Alpha bucks charlie I need you to time what did we do last time? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, God, I'm stressed. I'm so I'm nervous now. I've been okay. talking a lot of shit. And I really don't like beef liver. That's all right. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, God. Charlie, right. 30 seconds. Your letter is P. Mm-hmm. Your time starts now. Something at a picnic. Peanut butter. Athlete. Preston Campbell. Country. Philippines. Body part. Phalanges. <laughs> Some place you want to visit. Philippines. Frozen food. Peanut butter ice blocks. <laughs> Time. Six. Peas. Yeah, peanut butter ice blocks work too. <laughs> What is with you putting two <laughs> answers at the same? You shouldn't be able to do that. Well, last yeah. time with the phoenix. Oh, my God, I gave you P last time. <laughs> you did? I thought I gave you T. <laughs> and I was going to say T. 
six. You did Phoenix and Phoenix, Philippines, Phoenix, Philippines, peanut butter, peanut butter. It's not my fault. I can got two uses for it. Okay. God. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So I can start. Phalanges. What are we? Phoebe on Friends. I didn't want to say penis again. <laughs> I actually <laughs> forgot that I gave you pee. Okay. 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 Charlie, are you good? Okay. I'm not starting from the same point, just so you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Millie, your letter is R. Three, two, one. Restaurant. Restaurant? Um, Ramados. Things at a theme park. Uh, rides. Roller coaster. School supplies. Rubber. Something at a picnic. Um, rug. Athlete. Um, well, that's a hard one. <laughs> Stop it. Pass. Country. Um, Russia. But. <laughs> but um, r- <laughs> Time. Yes! How many did I get? Five. How many did you get? Six. No, you didn't. Are you serious? <laughs> Take it back. Is phalanges one? Yes. PH, phalanges. Did you actually get six? I think so. I did. But you used Philippines twice, which is pretty. I don't think you can use Philippines twice. What? Why you can't not? use the same thing twice. Is phalanges a real thing? Phalanges, yeah, they're your toes. I think that's what Phoebe says in Friends. It's not actually a oh, thing. Oh, no, the 14 bones that are found in the fingers of each hand and also in the toes of each foot are your phalanges. Yeah. You should really okay. know that. Okay, I did know it, but I've tried to catch her out. No. Okay, so you actually got six. And can you use the same thing twice? Peanut butter ice blocks, sorry. That's different to peanut butter. Peanut butter ice blocks and peanut butter are two different things. Peanut butter ice blocks are what it is. And peanut butter is peanut butter out of the jar. I get the Philippines one, but you didn't classify that. Okay, so that. should we go again for sudden death? Different list. No, you know what? There's this saying. I can't get remember what, what you get and don't get upset. No. Something like you don't bet twice when you've already won. <laughs> you well, you d- didn't win. You you drew because you're using the same things you're twice. So, you're a and you loser. did this last time as you're well. You're a loser. You did this last time as well. You got zero last time, so you can't even say yeah, that. Yeah, but you used the Phoenix thing twice. Then why not bring it up this time and say you can't do that again? Because I wasn't as close Okay, this time. I'm going to f- just beat you. Go, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Give me another letter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Is same list or different? Different list. Okay. Okay. Your letter is... S. Pet name. Sunny. Toy. Sun. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh, shit. Pass. Um, something you buy used. Sunscreen. <laughs> you buy used. Scarf. Game. Skipping. Scramble. <laughs> Clothing company. Sunny. It is. <laughs> Time. I'm done with you. <laughs> I used to say mine again, didn't I? <laughs> you know what? Scrap it. Scrap it. <laughs> Three Scrap it. We're just going to use the, the last one. <laughs> yeah, but this is the point of doing the new one. You can't use the same word. Yeah, but Sunny is a different brand to my dog <laughs> named Sunny. <laughs> Sunny is with an O. Sunny is with a U. This is so immature. <laughs> I just beat you fair and square and now you're trying to play these games. Charlie, Charlie, what yeah. do you think? Uh, I reckon you go again. So you've got three, so now Millie's got to try and beat three. Charlie. So then if she gets this, we're even and we go for a third. Far out. That might be a few too many okay. Alpha Bucks games. This yeah, be that's too what many. I think. Look, come on, last one. I Let's think go. This is already too many, Charlie. Last one. All right. Okay, your letter is Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Letter is N. Three, two. Oh, wait, I need to breathe. Three, two, one. On your feet. <laughs> what? That's just what it says. <laughs> Nail polish. Hmm. Candy. Um, Nutella. That's not candy. That's what American candy is. Keep going. Something you love. Um, That's another hard one. <laughs> Pass. Famous actor. Nelly Furtado. She's a singer. Keep going. She was in a movie. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> You've chosen the hardest one. Honestly. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> what, what did I get? Two and a half. Nelly Furtado is not an actor. She was, sorry, sorry that I didn't say the same person for everyone. Yeah, well, maybe you should have because you might have would have won. <laughs> All right. Seriously, Charlie, who's the winner of that? I think Keely's the winner. <laughs> I'll be bringing in, I might actually bring in some something else. I don't like my spam idea. I'll see what I can see what I can get. Anyway. Mm. Oh, anyway, look. Charlie, why'd you bring this up after the fact? You didn't say it at the time. I turned the mics off, but I'm back on now. But um Okay, so Charlie has just made it aware that I actually tied with you on the last one, like the first one. So what do you want to do? Oh, I've got an idea. I'll bring my food for you to eat as well. No, I've got a better we'll both idea. Bring it. I've got a better idea. Charlie? Yes. <laughs> How about we just do our elimination? Quick fire. You just have to say one thing with the letter. So you say name of a country beginning with blah, whatever you want. And the first one to say it wins. Okay. I like that. I really, I'm giving you a chance that you shouldn't even have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tally, this is bad just gambling. Just me. throw us okay. Um Boy's name. Start... Wait, wait, wait. I didn't hear that. Sorry. Okay. All right, I'll go again. I'll, start, I'll do a different one. I'll do a different one. A type of vegetable starting with M. Mushroom. Bingo. Yes. You are so good with your vegetables too. I was really nervous. I thought he was going to say E and I was about to say eggplant. And then he said M through me. Yes. Well, might have to bring oh you some. Oh, God, my heart. Shiitake mushrooms <laughs> covered in beef liver tomorrow. <laughs> Next week. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's actually All us. Right. Um, that's actually us. I'm out. Millie can't just lose once. She has to lose three times. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we'll be back next week for some more Alpha Bucks. Oh, look how confident she is. <laughs> what do I say? We're never back with Alpha Bucks. That's the last time we're playing that game. I even had a headache today. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Anyway. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>